Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well. Welcome to this uh, Lego haul and uh, other haul. So there's some Trix Brick stuff in here and I've bought some more like a baby uh, leak, leak. Oh, I don't know what they are. 32 by 32 plates. They're not base plates, they're different to base plates, but anyway, we'll go through it. Um, and there's also an affiliate link down below if you want to check those out on Amazon. There's green and blue at the moment, so I've put links to those below. But first of all, we go through um, a Lego haul. This is from Lego uh, Pick a Brick online, and it is, I've got it, I think I could have everything. It's a simply amusing haul, and it is my cows. So I got eight of these. And I also got some fleeces, and there should be, yeah. I've got the horn pieces as well. They're pretty pricey from, I think they're like eight pounds something per cow. And the uh, fleeces aren't too cheap either, but I have, I have cows. I've been um, collecting animals and I think I need to stop because I've got tons of them now. I've got loads of sheep and pigs and now cattle. So I need to find somewhere to put them and stop buying them. But I'm glad I got the fleeces. The fleeces are pretty expensive actually as well. I think they're like they're two pounds something per fleece. Um, but I figured it was cheaper buying it from Lego rather than going to aftermarket because they are well, they're slightly more expensive. Um, secondly, um, Bricklink order. This is from NI Bricks, which by the name would suggest it's from Northern Ireland. It's the first time I've bought anything from Northern Ireland actually, I think. So but these this is just parts I need for the city. For the city I've got some extra bits as well. So that's really good. Um, he's reused a box, a marble box. Kind of cool, so can I bricks there? Very cool. Uh, I needed to buy some hooks because uh, I've got some from my cranes that I've got from previous uh, train Lego sets and everything, but I don't know where they are. They're in a drawer somewhere. I've got some extra bits, some uh, inverted slopes. They're kind of the corner inverted slopes. Some arches there for some ports in the city and um, here are some inverted sort of uh, two by three by one slopes or something, inverted slopes, so they're cool. And now for these supports um, that are just going towards part of a sort of a viaduct structure that I'm trying to build for the elevated track. So that's that. Um, I'll go through this box last. This is is from Amazon so these are the green plates which I'm going to use for the elevated parts of the track and everything um, for what elevated parts of the city I've realized that uh, yeah I want to get sort of stuff like um, Ninjago sort of docks and Ninjago city out and gardens and all this lot so I need to yeah I just need to make more space for Lego so some of the railway will be under tunnels, but that will just make it a bit more interesting. So we've got that as well, which is kind of cool. And now this box, which is, this is from Trix Bricks. So this is very cool. And I will do my best to get a review of this done once, once I've got it set up. Or well, not even, I don't know. We'll see how it works. But okay, here we go, free gift. When you buy from Trix Bricks, normally they send you a free gift because uh, well you pay. So it's another piece of double length track. And this stuff is very, very cool and very, very handy. Injection molded track that is twice as long as normal. Lego track. Also, I got some more ballast. I just got some more straight ballast. And I got some R40 curved ballast as well. So that's... Uh, going to be really handy. Right, but the main thing that I bought and I've been putting off, well, I've been sort of waiting to buy this when I had the money basically. And it is 
a boom barrier set. So this is the boom barrier um, sort of pack that you can buy. You can buy the individual bits or you can just buy the pack that gives you everything you need to do a level crossing with working boom barriers and stuff. So this is going to be pretty cool. It's got uh, a sort of like an all-in-one controller stuff. I need to set this up, like I say, but it's got sensors and uh, little lights. So these little lights will be flashing once they go on. Uh, got the boom barrier bit. They've got uh, motion sensors, motion sensors, and all the cables that I need to set it up. So, oh, nearly lost some bits. So yeah, this is going to be really cool. It comes with an information pack as well. So that's the pack that comes with it. It's got a bit of information about the... Um, they also do switch motors as well. So uh, motors for points and stuff are automatically changing that. You can either buy them for Lego switch points, switch tracks, or um, I guess Lego switches or the Trix Brick switches, depending on which ones you want them for. So. They've got, uh, yeah, so this is part of their automation. So I'm going to enjoy doing the boom barrier stuff. I think it's just going to add a little bit of extra stuff when a train goes through um, just a straight bit of track and it's got a level crossing on it, really. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of cool. I was going to do sort of like a bigger one and buy more stuff, but I wanted to buy just the pack and then find out how it worked and if I liked it and then if I do then I will buy more so I will do a review on that and uh, we'll see how it goes but I'm kind of excited to do that because it's going to add something extra to the railway and yeah just a little bit of movement that's just a extra than just the train so there you go that's the haul so far kind of uh, <sighs> lots of things going into trying to just get the city well a bit, just continue building it really and uh, trying to make, I mean, these bits that I've got from Bricklink, if I can get the viaduct built and it looks, well, it doesn't look, I want it to be fairly strong and, uh, and sturdy so that it's like, yeah, before it was just everything was balancing and not quite secure, basically. The bridge was sort of always sort of hovering and if I'm, I always knock things anyway, so it's not going to, it doesn't have to be, well, it just needs to be a bit stronger and I'm kind of excited if I can get that done and then start building the city properly so it looks more like a city and less like, uh, yeah, um, just random random bits and bobs really. So yeah, there you go. So that's this haul. Um, yeah, next video hopefully be a review of the Boom Barrier set, which should be pretty cool and I'll have to get at least one of the tracks running in a circular motion so we can test it and everything like that. But there you go. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.